We look at the chemical reactions that could happen when mixing ingredients or the microbiology of food and how to keep these foods safe. Food science is a level that most consumers don't even think about. Like, how are these products getting on our shelves? Who's making them? How do we know they're safe? That's us. Our curriculum is robust. It's uh, of high quality. Our students go through core math and science classes, biology, chemistry, physics, engineering. So our degree is, is of high quality. It is challenging in that perspective. You get to see like the start and end of a product, so especially when I'm doing stuff with wine, um, it's interesting because I see it right from the grape, so I see right from the fruit, and then you have to wait a few weeks for things to ferment, and all of a sudden it's grape to glass, and you get to see like an end product, and it's really cool to have done all the science leading up to the end product. Our students get hands-on experience to work in the pilot plant, operating machines where in other schools, we may not get this opportunity to do hands-on. So from that perspective, I think the hands-on is really important because it allows students to problem solve when something breaks down or when they're designing a process that to formulate a product. They have that background that they've worked in the lab with that experience. Penn State has a curriculum that directly relates to what the industry is doing. Um, a lot of the kind of foundational courses, your food chemistry, your food micro, um, food engineering, will really lay a base that regardless of if you're landing in product development, if you're landing in quality control, um, if you're landing in analytical, you are still going to be drawing from all of those courses. Uh, several times throughout my career, I've encountered some concepts that I first saw at Penn State and, you know, putting it into a really specific applied context um, with that leg up that I had from a higher starting position um, really kind of made it all work for me. Once I got into school and started understanding more of what food science was and really the opportunities that it could give you um, once you started your career, I started to realize I wanted to do product development because it I feel like combined the best pieces of the science that you use from food science as well as that culinary creative, creative um, part of it as well. And so it was really just the whole piece for me. Um, and I'm in product development now and I, I feel like it was the perfect choice. To me, what is even more challenging is this call um, as food scientists to be able to make food for 10 billion people by 2050 with significantly less resources, significantly less land than we have today. To me, that is the most pressing challenge that as food scientists, it's almost a vocation to answer to that call of how do we do this in a way that can keep everyone alive. Mm -hmm.